Hi, I'm Jackson. And I'm Nelson. We're from South Louisiana. You're watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on DJB. And as always, thanks for watching. gets off my trailer, I'm happy. Then I head back up to Otona, Minnesota and pick up my next load that's going to Calgary, Alberta. I gotta deliver that on Tuesday. Today is Thursday, so I got a few days to get there. That's my next week. <coughs> Excuse me. I really do like this season or this weather. The weather's actually been really nice this year. It's usually in the deep freeze at this time of year, and it seems like we're sort of skipping over that this year. The weather's been really nice. Haven't had to spend a lot of money into power service anti-gel additives for my fuel. see how February is, right? But we've already passed through the first two weeks of the coldest time of year. we got another two weeks before spring starts showing its face, sort of popping its head out of the ground a little bit. But two more weeks, if we can last two more weeks of this nice weather, we had a pretty mild winter, and I'm happy with that. Next year, we'll probably pay for it with it being extra super duper cold. I really am impressed with this winter. So far it's been a good year, you know? Knock on wood, find some wood to knock on. But I think January has started off really, how's your 2020 started off? I hope it started off on a good note. It's always tough to start the year off on a bad note. But getting my load unloaded tomorrow morning. Getting a new fancy load with some shiny nickels on it. Squeeze that into my January yet. And February is a short month, so we gotta run really hard in February to make make up for that. We lose a few days. It's sort of, I don't think it's a leap year, right? It's 28 days. So you gotta sort of get like 30 days of work done. Oh man, that guy cut off that guy up there. Yikes. You gotta start to get, you gotta get like 30 to 31 days worth of work in in 28 days. See? Usually that makes the, the income smaller. The checks in March are a little smaller then. But we'll see what happens. You know, you never know. February is also a very slow time of year for a lot of stuff. But summer is coming. That's when everyone starts getting busy, right? Because summertime is when building stuff accelerates. Like people build stuff right through the winter, but it gets sort of heated up in summertime, right? Look at a nice suburban off to the right. Beautiful. Britt and I want a suburban one day. I mean, if we ever have enough kids to merit one. Except I want a black one. I mean. Let's see what color she wants. Let's see if I can influence her over the over time. I'd like black on black, just like my pickup. And I like that on vehicles, black on black. Except on my semis. The semi I want to buy, the Kenwood W900. Uh, I'm 
already looking into it, but it's gonna be about five years, at least five, six years before I dive into a new truck. But, you know, that's a lot of time for my brain to go back and forth on colors. Some of you have asked me what color I want in my truck. To be honest with you, I'm not too sure. I don't want black on black. I, I'm not a fan of black on black on semis. I like the chrome. I want it to be shiny. But I want the shiny chrome to go well with the color of the truck. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking either like a dark red, like a maroon type color, dark red or a dark blue. I don't want it to be anything too big and flashy. I don't want bright yellow. I don't want bright red, bright blue. I don't want any bright colors. I want it to be a nice, relatively neutral, dark, rich, royal color, you know? Not purple, but. Probably like a dark navy blue, maybe. I think that would really look well and that the chrome would stand out well against that color. So I want to have big, you know, at least like six inch, maybe eight inch, probably just six inch straight pipes up the side. Like, it won't be total straight pipes. There'll still be a muffler underneath the truck, but you know what I mean, right? Like eight, eight inch pipes up both sides of the truck. I like the bunny ears. So where they're sort of hooked off to the outside at the top. I like that look. And of course, all the LED lights I can, I can fit on there. They call them chicken lights, right? I want a nice shiny moose bumper on there, a herd moose bumper, just like I had on my old Freightliner. Definitely want that on the truck, protect that investment. I don't know, I think navy blue. That's what I'm sort of thinking right now. I'm really kind of hoping I can order my truck the way I want it. Now, you know, I want the studio sleeper, I want everything that I want in there. I want it to be my truck. We'll see where life brings us. Before I buy my truck, I gotta build a shop to put it in. Because I don't wanna park that truck out in the cold all winter and out in the rain and in the elements when I'm at home. And I want a warm, warm shop to park it in on the property. So I've already been looking at plans and stuff to build that. What was that? It might be stretched out a little further. I'll probably rebuild this truck once, top to bottom. I'll run it. Not until the wheels fall off, but you know, I'll run it till the wheels fall off. Just not literally. I'll just run it till it doesn't want to go anymore. And then the King Kenworth will arrive. Got the head cam back this trip. I'd really like to get back in that lane, but every time there's an opening to get back in that lane, somebody jumps in there and blocks me from going in there, despite me having my signal on. Whether I have it on or not, they always jump in there. Really? Everybody wants to pass me on my right. Oh, finally, somebody discovered there's another lane. You can pass me on that side too. I'd really like to get back in that. Okay, fine, I'll just stay in the center lane then. All right, I got no problem staying here. I was gonna move over there to be nice to all of you guys, but no. You wanna pass me over there? Okay, one more vehicle after this truck here. Oh, and then he slows down. Is he turning? Is he turning? Okay, the lane's opening up. Signal activated. All right, finally, now watch. I'm gonna have to get out of this lane right away again because someone's gonna wanna merge in. The way it goes. It's a big city. Lots of people here. Yeah, here they come. They're gonna wanna merge in here. I'm gonna have to get out of this lane. Oh wait, no, no, they're hurrying up. Okay, you get in front of me then.
interesting pilot travel, travel centers that isn't like the rest. We stopped here last time we delivered to the same place, actually, and I am this isn't on my usual routes or anything, so we don't go past here that often. Now, what is that guy doing there blocking all the pumps? Good thing I don't need fuel. Seriously, he's blocking all the, oh, all the pumps are not working. Oh, they only have like one or two pumps available. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Okay, well then, where am I gonna go and park? They made it very clear with these 100 signs off to my right that they do not want us parking here and that it's a fire lane and that it's police enforced. Okay. Well, why is this guy blocking this lane then? Blocking this lane, blocking that lane. All the lanes are blocked. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna park in front of these pumps over here. I'm gonna back in front of these ones that are blocked. I'm just running in to get a coffee. That's all I'm doing here. There we go. Back in front of this pump. Be out of everybody's way. This here is Chester, Iowa. We stayed here last time. We'll stay here again. I believe this is a truck stop right here. Yep. Same place we stayed at last time. Just down the road from our delivery. And I've got 11 hours. Actually, 12 hours. Turn right 12 hours before I gotta be there. So let's go find ourselves a parking spot back here. Somewhere it's nice and quiet. We'll call it a night. I'm gonna back in right in here. Well, Diesel, we have found our resting place. Day felt really short today, didn't it? Felt really short. Felt like it was mostly just Minneapolis. Took forever to get through that city. <laughs> but here we are. We're going to park here in Chester, Iowa, just over the border into Iowa from Minnesota. About 20 minutes down the road from our delivery that we're going to get to first thing tomorrow morning. And we're going to run back into Minnesota, grab our next load, and head towards Alberta. Maybe stop at home on the way, I don't know. Hopefully I can. What is that? Oh boy. Yep, there it is. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see more of in my videos.